Thanks, Thanks for coming out. out. Appreciate, Appreciate it very much. much. Uh, Wheeler Mission Ministries is a, <laughs> is a historic uh, ministry, ministry in, in this community, community that serves uh, some, some of our most vulnerable citizens. citizens. And uh, uh, I, felt I felt it was important, important to continue uh, a tradition I've had throughout my life uh, of, uh, of stopping, stopping by and giving, giving encouragement to ministries like this. this. It's, uh, it, is, uh, it, is, uh, it is Christmas week. week. We're all, We're all hurrying around, around making, making sure, sure that we have all of our shopping, shopping done, done, but it's a great, a great time uh, to, remember to remember the giving, giving that we receive. receive. And, and uh, I, know I know the Hoosiers, Hoosiers in big cities and small, cities and small towns, towns are taking time this week, this week uh, to, reach to reach out to those less fortunate, fortunate uh, with, with a charitable, charitable contribution, contribution, donate some time, and, and just uh, know, that know that even in these times where we have record employment in the state of Indiana and a growing economy, there's still... There's still many men and women in our state that are hurting, many families that are struggling, and uh, uh, today being with these volunteers he, here at, uh, at Wheeler Mission and seeing the way they're pouring uh, their hearts uh, and their time and their resources into these people's lives is deeply inspiring. So thank you for coming. Thank, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Any questions at all? What do you say to Hoosiers as you prepare to leave office to move to D.C.? Just uh, Karen and I just have a heart filled with gratitude <laughs> for all the opportunities that people of Indiana have given us to serve, first in the Congress and then as governor of the state that we love. Uh, and I can just assure Hoosiers that as uh, as we prepare to assume office on January 20th, we're going to be we're going to be taking all of the great experiences and all that great Hoosier common sense to Washington D.C. Well, I, I, um, I, I think that will be for others to say. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very humbled that, um, that we've been able to demonstrate here in the state of Indiana that you can live within your means, you can make uh, historic investments in education, infrastructure, even health care. Uh, you can cut taxes and let Hoosiers keep more of what they earn, and, and you can see more Hoosiers working than ever before. We, we've put common sense principles into practice here in the state of Indiana. And, uh, as I leave here today with unemployment at, at half of what it was when I became governor, uh, uh, I'm just very proud of what the people of Indiana have accomplished. Uh, and, uh, and I think we, I think our state in so many ways has, um, has been an example to the country uh, of what happens when you put uh, common sense principles into practice. And I know it's exactly the kind of leadership and principles that uh, President-elect Donald Trump is going to bring to the White House. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm honored to have a chance to serve with him uh, and, uh, and see uh, all of America prosper the way that Indiana's been able to prosper over the last four years. We've been told that uh, Wheeler Mission last night served a record number of people, almost double the number from this time last year. How does what you see today impact your view going to D.C. in terms of social services, health care, and some of the other matters? Well, I think, I think, it, I think we recognize it for all the prosperity we've been able to experience here in Indiana today with more Hoosiers working than ever before is that we still have work to do. Um, and uh, I can assure you that when the President-elect and I uh, take that oath of office, we're going to go right to work on promoting the kind of policies we've promoted here in Indiana to really get, uh, get people that uh, have been left behind in this economy back to work and create jobs and opportunities. But it also means we're going to need to, we're going to, need to continue to provide the resources for uh, and social service organizations that come alongside our most vulnerable citizens. And I'm, I'm confident working with the Congress will we'll continue to do that. But uh, prosperity is an antidote for many, many challenges facing the American people. And uh, President-elect and I are determined to advance uh, the kind of policies that will lower taxes, roll back regulations, uh, uh, and, and see real growth and real jobs and opportunity uh, come to people all across the country the way they've come to people here in Indiana. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for coming out, guys. This is uh, uh, this is a uh, this is an incredible ministry. It's been around for more than 130 years, but uh, I appreciate you all fo focusing some attention on the very real needs uh, that many Hoosiers face during this very blessed time of the year. So, thanks. Any plans for Christmas? Well, we're uh, we're going to have a uh, a tender Indiana Christmas. Uh, we'll be with. Uh, Karen's family on Christmas Eve will be sitting around the Christmas tree at the governor's residence uh, on Christmas Day. And, uh, uh, and then the really special event is that our, our son, Michael, who's a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps, will be getting married at the governor's residence uh, a week from today. And uh, 
can have a small little intimate ceremony just with immediate family. So it's uh, it's uh, it's going to be a very special time, as it is for every Hoosier family. And uh, uh, we're uh, we're just so grateful. We have, I'm, I, uh, I'm very humbled by the opportunity that we've been presented to serve our nation, but uh, I just have a heart filled with gratitude. Uh, to all the people of Indiana for the opportunities we've been given to serve, and we'll be reflecting on that over this holiday season. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Thank all. You.